achieve social change is the NAACP San Diego branch president, Francine Maxwell. Good morning, Francine. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for joining us. This is an important discussion and, and most importantly, how to, to move forward. And I, I, it, it was good that we kind of segued in with the testimony that's happening in front of lawmakers today. There was so much yesterday in, in watching the funeral service of, of George Floyd about bringing justice for the family and wanting police officers that uh, have been involved in situations, unfortunately, like the one we saw with George Floyd, having charges brought against them and getting justice for those families. What, what do you think needs to change in order to, to see that, that happen? There has to be an organizational change. And so we have to shift the narrative. There is a culture that's embedded in police departments. And so until we destruct them, destruct them as in destructing people that don't have implicit bias training, destruct them as in people that don't hold other people accountable, people don't feel that they have a duty to intervene. And so we have law enforcement that may have got into the field with good intentions but for something that happened in their lives, something has changed their attitudes of why they're there. And so they're using and they're abusing their uh, power. And we, we heard earlier this morning uh, in headlines, the P Minneapolis police chief, Chief Arredondo, uh, coming forward and saying that he promised new research and new strategies in order to to spot problem officers, uh, as he called them, and, and really to create a new culture within police departments. I know there was another police chief, I believe in Tennessee, that came forward saying that it is the duty of every officer to report fellow officers if they see a wrongdoing. And there's been a lot of this discussion of defunding and destructing uh, police departments, but can you explain in, in your view what that looks like? Does that mean there are no police departments or does it mean that they just need to fundamentally change? And should that mean that we don't fund them, what about the argument of putting more money into the departments to make sure that the training and good officers, the hiring is, is better and that there's more support? What, what do you envision? What I heard what the chief in Minneapolis was saying was more citizens' involvement, more citizens' opinions being heard, and more accountability so that you can begin to build trust. One of the things to build that bridge is to have the community feel that they have a trusted police department. And so when you look at some of the recent SANDAG data, where 55% of the most recent reports were property crimes, so it gets you to want to change the conversation so that the narrative can begin to change. Different people have a different understanding of what defunding means. A lot of people... My personal opinion is we need to do some redirecting. We need to take some things away from the police department that they've been charged with, that they have no business being over. So homeless, for an example, I don't need to criminalize people that have had um, some challenges in their lives. We need to take that away. They did not need to create a whole department for that. And so there's some things that 27 million increase. Yes, we do need to look at the, we need to look at the training, but have you ever thought about that? Police officers, they get a psychological test when they enter, but where's the next one? Where's the gauge? Where's the range? So that that's the conversation of change that's going to occur. We need to change some of the things. I need them to have another psychological test, however the um, people say that, how long it should be. But they shouldn't just have one when they enter law enforcement. So those are the types of things that change needs to occur. Like I said, in my personal opinion, we need to reallocate some things. I need to take mental health away from the police officers because they're not trained. Sitting and checking a box or watching a video does not make them able to go to a scene that has someone that has already been um, labeled with the mental breakdown. We need to send someone else. So you're not necessarily, I, I mean, because I, I really just want to clear this up for people because you hear defund police departments, dismantle de police departments, and, and people jump to um, different varying opinions in the discussion. And so j just to clarify, it's not necessarily that we have no police department or no law enforcement, but really looking at where we allocate money and maybe taking some of the, um, the, the wide-ranging authority of police officers to, to a different focus. 
Is that fair that's to say? My, that's, my, that's my personal opinion when it comes to this is a new hashtag that is people are going with the defunding, dismantling. We do need some law enforcement. We just need a transformational change, and we need to re-envision what law enforcement looks like in San Diego. Well, Francine, it's a, it's a really important discussion and certainly want to keep the focus on moving forward in a positive way. So we so appreciate your, your opinions this morning and having you come on, and we hope we can continue this discussion. My pleasure. Looking forward to it. All right.